expertise of Professor Parthu Ghosh. In fact, in our times, Professor Parthu Ghosh is a polymath in the true sense of the term, one of those rare personalities. He is not only a distinguished physicist, but over the last many decades has been making sustained outstanding contributions in popular expositions of science, various books, television programs, and so on, his various writings. Also, he is a, a very, he has other multifaceted talents, including, uh, I must mention, he, is, he was a student of Devabrata Bishash, the, the famous Rabindra Shangit singer. While on the other hand, you may all be knowing he was the last PhD student of Professor Shottandanath Bose. And as I remember, he also played cricket at the very high state level. So it is really a pleasure to have to always interact with Parthoda, with his various contributions in different fields. So Parthoda, so you will speak for an hour, I think. So and, and yeah, then right. we'll have some discussion. Okay. Shall I start? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Thank you very much, Prashant uh, and Dipankar, <clears throat> for inviting me to give this talk. It's always a pleasure to talk uh, at such occasions to young people. There's a particular <clears throat> area of uh, entanglement uh, in which I have been working on for some time. And uh, <clears throat> it's now gained ground, but it's not that widely known. And I would like to <clears throat> uh, share with the students some ideas about entanglement, which started out being quintessentially quantum. But nowadays, one knows that even in classical polarization optics, you get uh, entanglement. Exactly what does one mean by entanglement in this context? Well, um, is it possible to remove this? Uh, okay, yes, no. Right. So it's a preparation of essentially a non-factorizable, either multi-particle or multi-mode state, such that the states of the individual particles or modes of that group cannot be described independently of the states of the others. Essentially, that is what is understood by uh, <clears throat> entanglement. Now, in quantum entanglement, there are various uh, aspects <clears throat> which I don't want to go into right now, I will come to it right at the end again. Let me now say how this kind of non-factorizability arises in classical optics. But before that, I just thought I should share with you an idea that occurred to me very recently while thinking about this lecture. And I'm, I'm sure you will uh, like it. <coughs> <coughs> Now, uh, <clears throat> entanglement can be of two kinds. One is local, which is intra-system. That is, entanglement <clears throat> between modes of the same system. I think Dipankar has worked on it uh, in, in the quantum case. And there is, of course, the so-called non-local inter-system uh, entanglement the famous EPR type between two different particles, widely separated. <clears throat> I will come to that right towards the end of the lecture. Most of my lecture will be concerned with the first kind, the local intrasystem uh, entanglement. Now let's start with this local thing. Now we are all aware of the stern Galax experiment to measure spin half. <clears throat> you have an inhomogeneous magnet and you send uh, 
silver atoms to it. Now silver atoms have spin half, so they will <coughs> align themselves uh, parallel or anti-parallel to the field, and it will emerge out of the magnet in two different, you, you will see two different spots. So this is a schematic diagram of the separation of spin up and spins down of the silver atoms. The state of the silver atoms emerging from that Sternberg magnet can be written as uh, like this, uh, one by root two spin up in path one plus spin down in path two. Now it is an example of local entanglement between two modes of the same beam. Um, two modes of the same beam. So these pictures are hiding the what I have written. Uh, is it possible to get rid of these pictures? Uh, Uh, the same beam, you know, have two modes, the spin mode and the spatial or propagation mode. Now this, uh, this you can see is a state from which neither the spin nor the spatial mode can be factored out. So this is an entangled state. Now let me talk about, show you another thing <clears throat> called double refraction. Double, you have a doubly refracting crystal and you have unpolarized light incident on it. Then on the other side, you will get what is called the ordinary